Beep, boop, bop, boop, beep. Testing one, two, one, two, testing, testing. Alrighty. So, we are doing an yet another Unity tutorial. This time, we are just doing some quick stuff. So, import your FBX and then import the textures. Boop, 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 boop. Textures, like so. From the HD textures folder, from your Destiny model one, Destiny model hash folder. Once they're in, next you go with what if you rip the shader and go to the shader file, and just dunk the entire thing in there. Once it's done, click on the model. Click Extract Materials, create a Materials folder, and there, yep, because I clicked, I did the wrong thing, you funny. I thought it created this one, it did not, alright. Click that, select Folder, Creates Materials folder, puts the materials in there for you. Go over to rig, click on humanoid, click apply. As long as there's a check mark, it's fine. Zoom in. Alrighty. Now it's gonna be now your character's gonna be orange on the first. So look the look see. So with the arms you're going to go to standard. Destiny, car hate black armor, because I'm using the exact same armor for everything. So this is Starfires. Do this real quick. Put in put them in like so. If you have a die slot, put that in. Enable that. Since use your distance. Plug that right there in there as well. Then get textures, open that up. Armor cloth. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Six and seven. Alright. Control click, turn off SRGB, apply. These turn off SRGB, apply, and the shader is bad. Wonderful. Now, if this happens, just turn the SRGB back, SRGB back on because it is unfixable because there is some bug with the UPGS and Unity and their interactions just make it all mess up. So basically, just do what you just did. Fun little tricks that you can just. Uh, Oh. Cop material properties. Base material property. Now maybe we gotta switch it over. First. Base material properties. Click on the chest. Boop. 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 And boop. You can only really do this if you have if you're if the armor shares the same textures, otherwise it won't really work. I didn't name this. Congratulations, I played myself. Arm okay, so arms, chest, helm, marks, this is legs, alright. Base material properties, thunder screws, leg. Now you can just ignore that for now. We're going to get back to that. Or actually we're not. I lied, I like I don't like lying, but uh, helm standard destiny armor. Base material properties. 
plug them in like so. And finally, the mark. material properties during all right now as for the hands and neck there are specific shaders for that downloads scroll down to my shaders folder PQR. shaders is right here you wait yeah to unity shaders mission shader and then the Blair Angiator. Minimize that. Both those you can you can get Destiny to emission shader from the from Judd's um, Gumroad and from this you can find on the drive. So we just click on the hands, look standard, scroll down to the player hand shader. Now for this you will need to, I have a thing on my drive that you, that you can download as for now. I'm going to find where I have it in my D2 player skeleton file. Hand textures. You only need these three. And these three. So for the hands, you can just plug them in like so. Turn that off. Neck piece, do the same exact thing. Player hands, plug them in. Apply, it's done. Now for the greaves, you choose the mission shader. Find the legs over here. Plug this in real quick just so it's a nice simple thing. Don't think I have to do. Okay, why are you not getting bigger? Normally it should do that, do stuff, but apparently it's not. It doesn't like me. Oh well. This should be big, but it's not. Turn that nice. And since the legs are red, even though they shouldn't be, you can just change that. What is this? The primary? Just 
find out where the lies. Yep, primary. Change that to light over here. And there you go. It's done. As for it being broken, that is a thing. Some shaders work, some shaders do not. All depends on how it should work. And goodbye.